the bottom line is that bedbugs can be anywhere. It's not that they are everywhere, but they can be anywhere. Some of the inspection tools, it's a nice magnifying glass with an LED light. It's 10 bucks at Radio Shack. This is a screwdriver, and this is a New York City Metro card, which is a thin piece of plastic. When cut into a, a thin triangle like that, that is what we call a crevice tool, and you can get behind uh, molding or in the joints of furniture or bed frames to see if there are bed bugs there. Containers and Ziploc baggies are good for collecting specimens, for keeping them for further you know, analysis. Tweezers and a paintbrush are good. They're really useful for the smallest of, uh, of the bugs. Gloves for the squeamish and even canned air can be used, like the stuff you use to clean your um, keyboard can be used to flush bed bugs out. The signs of bed bugs. I wanted to show you the sort of bumps when fecal matter is laid. So you'll have stains in fabric or bumps on wood. You'll have signs around the seams of the mattress including live bugs, the shed skins, uh, the little stains and egg cases, both empty and full if it's a current infestation. When bed bugs leave their um, fecal matter behind, it can look like somebody touched a sharpie to the fabric. And the spots will generally wash away as a brown color. What I do is take a handy wipe or an alcohol prep wipe and I rub the spots and if it bleeds off brown, that's a good indicator that that's digested blood. <coughs> to inspect, you would start with the sleeping area and radiate out from there. The bed bugs are not going to originate in your closet. They're going to probably originate around your bed and that's the first place you're going to see evidence unless they're coming in from a neighboring apartment. So here are some examples of places to inspect. The linens, under the pillows, pillowcases, the bed frame. I always, when I go to a hotel room, I take all the linens off the bed and I check the entire mattress seam and I lift up the bed and I look underneath it, uh, the mattress anyway. Um, this is sort of what you would see, this sort of staining and flecking of you know, bed bug fecal matter. That's what you're gonna see uh, in an old or even a new infestation. On top of and under the box frame, there is wood. Bed bugs love wood. There are lots of crevices. It's hidden. It doesn't move a lot. And even under this plastic, they'll be there. Search on and behind the headboard in all parts of the bed frame. So this guy is, you know, peeking in here. This is a uh, groove in a headboard that is loaded with bed bugs. You might not notice that right away. You'd have to look closely at that. Under the bedside table frame. This is part of the frame when you flipped over the, the uh, furniture. Lots of hiding spots. Even the lamp, the alarm clock, the remote control, and the TV can be hiding spots. There was one story we got. They couldn't figure out where the infestation was coming from. They couldn't solve the problem. And the bed bugs were in the battery compartment of the remote control, which was on the bed stand, which was near the bed. You have to think about everything. Here is baseboard molding that was pulled away. You can see a very significant harborage there. People don't realize what's behind their molding. Under wall hangings and light switch plates, there's enough space for me to put my fingernail underneath this light switch plate. Easily bed bugs could get under there. Other bedroom furniture, office furniture, there's a bed bug tucked into the crevice. It looks like a pretty clean office chair, right? No problems there, but there's a bed bug hanging out in there. Don't forget the living room furniture. Somebody's sleeping on the living room furniture. There could be bed bugs in there very easily. There could be bed bugs in unusual or unexpected places. <laughs> it's got to be a pretty bad infestation to have them in the dictionary.